Nowadays, when the world again getting divided into blocks, extremism is escalating and the financial and economic situation is worsening. There is an urgent need to end all kinds of hatred and to lay the foundations of peace. This can only be done by respecting all kinds of sentiments of each other. If this is not done properly, honestly, and with virtue, it will escalate into uncontrollable circumstances. You understand at a profound level that promoting religious freedom is an essential building block for peace and stability here and throughout the world. In this, we are allied with His Holiness, a courageous champion of religious freedom and of peace. Azrat Mirza Masru Ahmed is the present head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, the most dynamic international community within Islam. The community was established by Hazrat Mirza Khulam Ahmed in Kardian, a small and remote village in India. He claimed to be the expected reformer of the latter days, the one awaited by all major world religions. Founded in 1889, the community has continued to spread throughout the world, flourishing under caliphate, the system of spiritual leadership established after the demise of the holy founder. The current successor of this movement, Hazrat Mirza Masrur Ahmed, continues the work of the Holy Founder to revive the spiritual and moral state of mankind. The movement embodies the benevolent message of Islam and its pristine purity, a movement that preaches peace, universal brotherhood, and submission to the will of God. The promised Messiah was sent to propagate the real and true teachings of Islam and the Holy Quran. He was sent to establish a bond between man and God Almighty. He was sent to identify and recognize the rights owed by man to one another. He was sent to end all forms of religious warfare. He was sent to establish the respect, dignity, and honor of every founder and every prophet of any religion. He was sent to, dr to draw attention towards attaining the highest standards of moral values and he was sent to establish peace, love, compassion, and brotherhood throughout the world. His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, the present head of the community, continues in his effort to unite people from all faiths and cultures by promoting interfaith dialogue and religious freedom. He has traveled extensively to spread the message of peace and to remind everyone to respect the rights of other human beings. During these tours, His Holiness has met world leaders from the Far East to Europe, from North America to Africa, discussing the economic, social, and political problems facing the world today and how to create peace and justice in the world. He has also met religious and community leaders in order to share common values and core ideals universal to all religions and cultures with a view to improving the moral state of mankind and creating an atmosphere of love and affection. From young to old, he compassionately listens to the ordinary man, regardless of race, color or religion. He has personally initiated social projects and schemes to alleviate poverty and human suffering. His concern is not just about the well-being and moral state of the members of the Ahmadiyya community, but of the great human suffering of mankind at large. The Ahmadiyya community knows only that Islam, which is the Islam of love and affection, 
offers a real message of peace and security. I respect his strong commitment to promoting peace and understanding. At a time when extremists are seeking to divide us, His Holiness has delivered an inspiring and peaceful message of love overcoming hatred. Though of humble beginnings, your leadership has made you a figure of global prominence. Uh, you started as a teacher and you have become a guide for millions of Muslims worldwide. You have been persecuted for your beliefs, jailed for your faith, and exiled from your homeland, but you refuse to turn to bitterness or vengeance. And that is a very important lesson. So again, what a, a pleasure it is to welcome you, Your Holiness, to, uh, to Ottawa, uh, an opportunity to uh, discuss the, the many challenges facing the uh, uh, Ahmadiyya Muslim community, uh, but also the opportunities that we have to work together on shared, uh, shared goals and challenges. When I was here, I did not think of abandoning this country. I considered myself to be a Ghanaian. Together, we should fight common enemies such as illiteracy, disease, hunger, and poverty. The Ahmadiyya mission has put structures in place towards the fight against these common enemies in order to enhance the dignity of man. The Ahmadiyya mission is one religious organization in Ghana which has demonstrated ample tolerance in terms of its preparedness to cooperate with all other religious bodies, Muslim and Christian alike. An injunction to love all and to hate none is the avowed guiding principle of the Ahmadi life. The Ahmadiyya um, community, the mission in Sierra Leone, really they've made a pivotal contribution uh, to the education in our country. You just have to look around wherever you are. What would the world have been without Ahmadiyya movement? In as far as Islam is concerned, it would have left a big, big gap a vacuum incalculable for us to even suggest as to the type of impact it would mean on society. <laughs>